Welcome to the adventures of Mariak Fermax, a character created in 1988 for tabletop role-playing games and later computer games. Thank you for joining me on an adventure today. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit like and subscribe below and leave me a comment. All right, well, this video is a little different. Um, I get asked all the time, John on the PC, where are my save files for Lord of the Rings Return to Moria? What are they? What do they mean? Do I have backups? How does it work? And uh, I built a little Python script. For those of you who don't know, Python's a computer language. Uh, it's widely used. It, it can be used for scripts, but it certainly build all kinds of other things with it. And um, every day at 3 a.m. my time, my directory gets backed up and put to a network attached storage here in my house, so I don't lose anything. Now, that being said, uh, you don't have to do that, and I might do another video on that later, but uh, I'm going to teach you a little bit about how the files are stored and what they mean. So, uh, you're going to want to go to, and I'll put this down in the comments, percent local app data percent moria slash save slash save game and that'll bring you here let's explore this a little bit so you notice that this is on my pc i'm running windows 11 under the users directory my name is john so it says john that's my user now the app data directory what that percent local app data percent means is for the user that i currently am put me in this directory here okay um, and then it's a local file um, Moria saved now you may have to come here if you file a bug report um, you'll get to just the save directory because this is where your logs are your crashes um, now these are data dumps also shows you the configuration um, of the client and so on and so forth but the directory we're interested in today is called save games all right so all you have to do is type that in hit enter and you are here and we are going to use a detailed list because I am going to want to see the extensions and so on okay let's sort by name um, MC means character uh, so M capital M capital C underscore means it's a character capital M capital W W underscore is a world and then there's an option oops sorry an option save file down at the bottom so that's the first thing you have to know MC underscore is a character MW underscore is a world now that's followed by a pretty healthy serial number it you can't change that don't change it uh, if you can I haven't really tried maybe you can but don't if you can help it just leave the serial number the way it is um, and then there's an extension what's known as an extension SAV dot SAV is your current save file all right, so MC underscore this is a character and dot SAV is a save file. Now you'll notice that there are some backups. Dot BAK, the extension there is a backup file. And every time I start the game, and it keeps a certain number of these, sometimes more than others, I don't understand what determines it. It's probably programmed into the code somewhere, but it keeps a certain number of these. And so this is my character, Mariak Fermax, and this is his serial number. Think of it as a serial number, hash, whatever you want to call it, right here. So this is my character. I only have one on my, my game, Mariak Fermax. I was just playing him this morning trying to help somebody. So you'll see the time and date matters. Um, and then it's the save file. It's the current save. And they're very small. Characters are very small. And so let's say there was a problem with 
uh, my character and it wouldn't load and I wanted to restore it from backup. The first thing I would recommend doing is you create a little directory someplace. Oh, well, first thing I recommend doing, hold on, is you highlight all of those, you right click, and use the zip. You can say compress to zip file. I like using WinRAR, but uh, compress to zip file. And here it is and you can rename that Moria saved game directory and then I usually put a date for 12 2024 all right and then I would cut that and move it somewhere else all right that's the first thing I do. Now you have a backup of everything on your uh, in this directory. So if you royally screw it up, you can always wipe out the directory and put it back. So that's insurance, and it's worth doing. And like I said, I automated that so it happens for me every day, and I recommend doing it every day, even if you want to do it manually. All right. So let's say my character, Mariak for Max, was corrupt and I couldn't load. It's having a major problem. So I'm going to start with my character instead of the world. And I'm like, okay. Uh, now, when you've restored, you may lose what you've done between the two dates. So you'll see here 412 and 46. So I would lose six days worth of work or whatever I exchanged on my character at that time would be uh, gone. But that's okay. Let's say, um, let's say I just delete him. Okay, now my character is gone. That bad character is gone. You can also do this. If you don't want to delete, Oops, sorry about that. I accidentally hit undo and put the directory back. Okay, here's my character back. <clears throat> Let's say you want to do this instead. I rename it bad. It'll ask you if you want to change it. You say yes. Okay, so that's now you know that that's the bad one. It changes over here that this is the bad file. Now, you can go up here to whichever one of these you want. Zero is is the next oldest. One, two, three, four. Obviously, four was 12 days ago. So you're going to rename this. Now, you'll notice that there are two extensions, basically, dot zero zero dot BAK you have to delete all of that and put dot sav you notice that this one is dot zero one dot bak dot zero two dot bak etc it'll ask you if you want to change it you say yes and then you can restart your game I don't have a bad character to actually demonstrate this, but okay. Uh, let's say we're going to play a campaign, and here's Merrick. Actually, I'll go back. We'll do Alpha. Load my world. Merrick for Max's sandbox. We're going to play offline launch the game sorry this toolbar is for marking up the screen 
I guess I could do that. I haven't really done that yet. you try to load the world and it'll show you which last one you accessed you can sort on that and it'll bring you to where all of them are so you'll see five eight four five four two five eight four five four two and it goes up um, here so these are the backup files and this is the save now I have found, and I'm not sure, sometimes if you load that the latest backup is the same character or the same world as the one that's broken. So sometimes you have to go farther than the one. Uh, in this case, it looks like um, you'd probably be good to go. So you just pick one of these, the ones you want, and again, you get rid of the dot zero whatever dot BAK name this one dot old or dot bad uh, dot sav dot bad dot old whatever it is and then um, whatever you want and then you rename the one that you want to use uh, here you notice that this uh, has a very similar date so usually when something's broken you might have to go back one or two so you go back to here and you rename this one and then your world will be restored to that time um, and that's it if something goes horribly wrong you wipe this out and you put your zip file back and you're good to go all right that's the basics of the manipulation so again mc is character MW is world. Dot SAV is the current world. Pay attention to the dates. The dates are important, right? It'll tell you which one you access last, what it is, and so on. Now you can make a little cheat sheet and like notepad or something to what game belongs to what, because eventually these serial numbers stay the same as long as the game is around. Okay, so you know this serial number here will be the same. Now, when you rename, you're going to get rid of all of this. All right, everything from the first dot, first period on, you're going to get rid of, and you're going to put in the dot sav. And the old file here, you're going to rename first to something else. Okay. Uh, dot, I usually use dot save dot old dot save dot bad. Uh, and it'll ignore those files. It's not looking for them. That is how the directory structure in Lord of the Rings Return to Moria works. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for listening to me today as we explored our PC and where our saved files are stored for the Lord of the Rings Return to Moria, how they're organized, how to make a backup of them, and how to restore them if they get corrupt. Thank you for listening.